Chapter 5 Season 2 is looking like it is one of the best seasons of all time, and if you are looking for a new pickaxe to use, then this is the video for you, because today, guys, we're looking at the 29 sweatiest pickaxes in Season 2. This list is going to include some of the most tryout pickaxes we have ever seen, dating all the way back from Chapter 1 Season 1 up until today in Chapter 5 Season 2, and we are also going to be including a bunch of brand new pickaxes and pickaxes that we have never talked about on the channel before, so make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Make sure to also go down, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you are new, because if this video can reach 3,000 likes, we'll be giving a bunch of free battle passes away in the comments down below. But let's just get straight into it, guys, and we're starting off in the number 29 position with the Champion's Blade. The Champion's Blade has to be one of my all-time favorite pickaxes. It was introduced during Chapter 5 Season 1, and this was the FNCS pickaxe for that season. This unfortunately does mean that it probably won't return to the store anytime soon. It is going to be one of the rarest pickaxes moving forward, so hopefully Hopefully, if you guys are a fan of the FNCS tournaments, you did end up buying this pickaxe. We have had a bunch of other FNCS cosmetics added to the game over the last few years, but this would have to be one of my favorite pickaxes, and it just fits in with so many different skins. If you are looking for a little bit more of a simplistic pickaxe though, then I feel like the Dauntless Driver might be a really good choice. Now, this isn't as new as some of the other pickaxes we're going to be talking about in this video, but it is definitely one of my favorites. It looks pretty much identical to the OG Driver pickaxe that was added to the game in Chapter 1, Season 5, but what I really love about this is that it actually comes with four different styles. So if you guys do get sick of using one style or a secondary style, you still have a few other ones to choose from. That is a really cool touch. I feel like it is so such a good idea by Fortnite to do this as well, but it would have been even better if they had have just included this as edit styles for the original driver pickaxe. Let's move on though guys to the number 27 position and we have the Spectral Axe. We are starting off with a bunch of OG pickaxes, but the Spectral Axe just has to be mentioned in this video. I feel like it is one of those tryout pickaxes that is also extremely underrated. Not that many people actually use this just yet, but we have seen a bunch of people using it in the past. It is one of the most tryhard items as well, and I feel like it is only going to gain more and more popularity in the future. This is actually really detailed, and at the same time, sort of looks really simplistic, which I feel like just makes it even better. It's going to fit in with a bunch of highly customizable skins like the Superhero skin so, so well, but even if you don't use them and just use some of the more simplistic skins in the game, then this is also going to be a really good pickaxe to use. I just don't think it is going to be as popular as some of the other items we're going to be talking about, and one of them would have to be Vision. This is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite, and even though it is considered a tryhard pickaxe, it is also sort of considered to be a meme pickaxe as well, which I feel like is honestly one of the perfect ways for pickaxes to be viewed in Fortnite. So if you are a tryhard player, you're going to love this, but if you are a meme player and don't take the game too seriously, chances are you're going to love this as well. A lot of people have talked about edit styles for this pickaxe being added to the game in the future, but it's been in the game since Chapter 1 Season 8, so honestly, it doesn't look like we will be getting any more styles for this any time soon. Let's move on, though, guys, to a brand new pickaxe, and this is the Breakshaw Trident. This is actually part of the Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass, and it is one of the coolest looking pickaxes that we did actually get. I feel like there weren't too many tryhard pickaxes added with this season's Battle Pass. That might be the only downside to this. I feel like the skins were incredible, but yeah, the pickaxes probably are just letting this down a little bit. Still, though, I think the Breakshaw Trident is really cool. It is so unique as well and different to a lot of other pickaxes we have seen before. It sort of reminds me of the Sludge Hammer though, because what you can actually do with this is change around the design of it. It doesn't look like every other pickaxe in the game. It actually allows you to change the shape of this, which not many other pickaxes actually do. Depending on which style you guys prefer, you can either use the Trident or the Hammer version. Personally, I feel like the Trident is a little bit cooler, but I can definitely see how the Hammer would be the more tryhard edit style. Regardless though, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and let's move on to a pickaxe that is one of the most tryhard hard in the history of Fortnite, and this is the Studded Axe. This is going to set you back 800 V-Bucks as well, so it is a really good price for a pickaxe this well designed. It is also known as one of the most tryhard pickaxes we are ever going to see because it makes almost no sound. A lot of pros and streamers want to try and minimize their sound as much as possible so they can listen out for other enemies around them or just listen out for other players to see what they are doing. So if they use a pickaxe that makes almost no sound, then that is going to be an advantage. That is exactly what the Studded Axe does. It is literally the quietest pickaxe in the history of Fortnite. A lot of people thought this started as a mistake and Fortnite just never fixed it. And here we are today in Fortnite in 
Chapter 5 Season 2, and the same things are still happening. I'm a huge fan of this though, I love the way it looks, and even though we have had some other pickaxes added that are very similar to this, like the flawless pickaxe, I feel like the studded axe is still the best. Let's move on the guys to a little bit more of a lesser known pickaxe, and this is the Hot Dogger. I've talked about the Hot Dogger quite a few times on my channel already, I'm a huge fan of this pickaxe. It is one of the best single-handed pickaxes in the game, but unfortunately you don't really see too many pros using this anymore. It was added back during Chapter 2 Season 5, which was the crossover season in Fortnite. It is one of the smallest pickaxes in the game as well, which is what I think a lot of people love about this. Similar to the studded axe, you want to use a pickaxe that is quiet, but you also want to use a pickaxe that is quite small and not too detailed, and that is exactly what the Hot Dogger is. We don't really see too many pros or streamers using single-handed pickaxes anymore though, which probably is why this doesn't have the popularity that it deserves, and it doesn't feature in the store as much as regular item shop pickaxes like the Stellar Striker. This was just added to the game in Chapter 5 Season 1. The Stellar Striker is such an amazing pickaxe, and what is really cool about this is that we actually had two different styles for this pickaxe added to the game. This almost never happens with pickaxes anymore. I feel like a lot of pickaxes that we do get just have one default style, and if they are going to add an edit style for it, usually it comes to the game after a few seasons when Fortnite already has the popularity of that original design. The Stellar Striker though is really clean. The cool thing about the edit styles for this as well is that they are so different. We sort of have a sunny or a summer version of the pickaxe and then there is a white or a winter edit style as well and both of these are really clean. It sort of depends on what skin you were using to change this around but I definitely have seen a few pros and streamers using this so hopefully it does gain some popularity in the future. One pickaxe that is definitely considered try hard though would have to be Catwoman's Grappling Claw. This is one of the best looking collab pickaxes in the game. For some reason the DC pickaxes always seem to become quite try hard especially when they first get added and a lot of other collab pickaxes especially from the Marvel franchise never really get that popular or try hard at all. Catwoman's Grappling Claw has definitely been one of the best though. It was first added back in Chapter 2 Season 6. It was one of my favorite pickaxes when it first got added and I honestly thought this is going to become try hard straight away but it probably wasn't until the start of chapter 4 where this really started to gain some popularity. You can pick it up for 800 V-Bucks and I just think the design of this is so so clean. You can pair it with so many different skins as well which might be my favorite part about it but still I feel like the fact that this is a collab pickaxe is just holding this back a little bit. One DC pickaxe that I actually do prefer even more though would have to be the pad joke. Now now, this is very similar to the Vision because this is a meme pickaxe and also can be quite try hard as well. I've been using this with superhero skins in the past, I've used it with skins like Siren as well, and I think what is really cool about this is because this pickaxe is so detailed and has such a unique design and colors to it, you can actually use it on some of the more simplistic skins to make you guys stand out a little bit more. So if you are using something like Aura, or a fully white or a fully black superhero skin, or even Siren, you are going to look good using this pickaxe. The only downside to this though is that you could get this in the Last Laugh bundle, which is one of the most expensive bundles we've seen coming in at around $40. I know a lot of people don't want to spend $40 just to get a pickaxe though, so let's move on to something like the Mercenary Razor Sword. This is a lot cheaper and came to the game in Chapter 5 Season 1. It is a single-handed pickaxe, so again, I feel like these don't become as popular as the default style pickaxes, but this was one of the best ones that we got in Chapter 5 Season 1. I feel like that really helped it become popular. It does have a really unique design as well. We don't really have too many pickaxes that have a lot of yellow on them, so I feel like it is really refreshing to get some new design pickaxes with some colors that we haven't really seen too much of, and since we had a lot of skins in Fortnite in Chapter 5 Season 1 that were added that did have a yellow theme to it, this just made it even better. That takes us though guys to the number 18 position, and we have the Ebon Heart Battle Axe. The Ebonheart Battle Axe is one of my personal favorite pickaxes. This is so, so sick. It is another Gaming Legends collab pickaxe. So I'm sure you guys could already tell, but I love the collab pickaxes in Fortnite. What I love most about the Ebonheart Battle Axe though is that it reminds me a lot of the Leviathan Axe, but instead of having that typical one-handed animation that the Leviathan Axe has with the built-in reactivity, the Ebonheart Battle Axe just fits in with every single skin in the game because it has the default Fortnite animations for 
for a pickaxe. It looks the exact same as a regular pickaxe, just with that sort of Leviathan axe style, which I really, really love. And I feel like it deserves to be a lot more popular than it is right now. Let's move on though, guys, to the number 17 position, and we have the Banana Splitter. Now, this is pretty similar to the Mercenary Razor Sword in terms of color and design. I feel like if you do want to use a regular Fortnite style pickaxe of the Mercenary Razor Sword, that the Banana Splitter is probably the best one. This is also very similar to the Vision and of course some of the other pickaxes we have already talked about, where it can be considered a meme pickaxe as well. That is what I love about it. It isn't necessarily just considered a tryhard pickaxe, but we do see meme players using this as well. This obviously came to the end with the Adventure Peely skin, which is a big meme skin. So it is only natural that this pickaxe is considered to be a meme pickaxe as well. I feel like as time progresses though, people will definitely start using this with the more tryhard skins and hopefully we will see more people using it in the future as well. One pickaxe that has actually started to drop off a little bit though is going to be the Cold Snap. The Cold Snap became popular during chapter four and towards the start of chapter five as well when Clicks got his very own locker bundle added to the game. For that, he ended up choosing the Spark Plug skin, which I think everyone expected. And then we ended up getting the Cold Snap pickaxe as his iconic pickaxe as well. This instantly made it a lot more popular and tryhard than it had ever been. I feel like it brought a lot of attention to it as well. And since Clix is one of the most influential people in the Fortnite community, it just made sense that this became a tryhard pickaxe. I think it does have a really unique design for this, but the only downside to this and the only reason why it isn't finishing up higher on this list is the fact that this is only going to work with a few skins. It probably doesn't work with every single skin in your locker. And again, that is the only thing holding this back from being one of the best pickaxes in the game. Our next pickaxe is actually very similar to this as well, and this is the Candy Axe. I feel like these pickaxes are related. They sort of both fit in with the Winterfest theme, and the Candy Axe might just be a little bit better. Even though this is a lot more expensive, coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks, what is even weirder about this as well is that we sort of had an edit style for this added, and that is the Merry Mint. This would have been a lot better though if the Merry Mint was added as an edit style for the Candy Axe, and not just its own regular pickaxe that is really holding it back i feel like it would have been a lot better if it was an edit style and we would still see so many people using this today if you guys do want a pickaxe that is a lot cheaper then i highly recommend getting something like the love lawn instead of this costing 1500 v bucks the love lawn will only set you back four dollars you could actually get this in a regular item shop bundle so hopefully it does return to the store soon but the reason that the love lawn is try hard in fortnite is because it looks pretty similar to another pickaxe that is extremely tryhard, and that is the Axe of Champions. I'm sure you guys knew this already. I talk about it all the time when I mention the Love Lawn. It is one of my favorite pickaxes though, and the fact that you get this really cool looking pickaxe for only $4 just makes it even better. It doesn't return to the store that often because it is a bundle pickaxe, and the same can be said for Leon's Combat Knife. This doesn't really return to the store that often either, but you can pick this up for 500 V-Bucks, making it one of the cheapest pickaxes on this list. The reason that this is tryhard and popular in Fortnite though, is that this is known as the smallest pickaxe in the history of the game. It takes up almost no space on your screen, which is so, so crazy. I cannot believe they made a pickaxe this small, and that is the main reason why so many pros and streamers love it. It allows them to see the map better, it's gonna allow them to see even more of their screen as well, and it might even give them a slight advantage which is why it is so good also the fact that it is only 500 v bucks has definitely helped it and another pickaxe that is priced at 500 v bucks is going to be the vault guardian the vault guardian is sort of a mashup of all of the other crowbar pickaxes that we have ever seen in fortnite it has the silver color of the original crowbar and the golden effects and the black handle of the gold crow this is a really cool touch any of those pickaxes are going to be a really great choice the crowbar is quite rare though because it was a free pickaxe given out during chapter 1 season 5 and hasn't been available since. The gold crow does return to the store from time to time but I feel like the vault guardian features in the store more often than any of those pickaxes. It also looks really clean. It's going to match in with so many different skins as well and you can definitely make some try hard combos with this. Let's move on though to the number 11 position and we have the slasher. This is one of the newest pickaxes in the game. It was added during season OG or chapter 4 season 5 and and came to the game with the Michael Myers collab. I never expected Fortnite to collaborate with Michael Myers and add a literal knife to the game, but the slasher is really clean. 
It is very similar to Leon's Combat Knife, so you can basically swap between these two. I don't recommend owning both of them because they are so similar and pretty much identical. So it's completely up to you guys on which one you want to use. If you guys do want to use a small pickaxe, but one that is a little bit more unique, then I feel like the Dark Place Lamp is going to be a much better choice. This is such a cool looking pickaxe. We don't really see too many people using this either, but I feel like Clix has actually been using it a bit, only increasing the popularity of this. It doesn't really return to the store that often, again, holding this back. It could be a lot better if it did feature in the store more often, but it is one of those collab pickaxes that just never seemed to get the popularity that it deserved. I still feel like there is a lot of potential for this to become a lot more tryhard and popular in the future, and it is one of my favorite all-time pickaxes as well. We haven't really talked about too many brand new pickaxes though, so let's move on to the Hadean Key. This is available in this season's Battle Pass Chapter 5 Season 2, and it is paired with the Tier 1 100 skin which is Hades. Even though this is really clean, I thought this would have its very own custom animation or at least be reactive since it is the tier 100 pickaxe but it has the default swinging animation of a regular pickaxe. Even though this might be a negative, I feel like it does also help it because it probably means more people are going to be using this. As I've already mentioned, I feel like a lot of people don't want to use pickaxes with the custom animation or just a different animation to the default style. So this is a really cool pickaxe to use because it is so detailed it looks very new and it is one of the newest pickaxes in the game but it does also have that default animation if you guys need any proof that default pickaxes are the way to go then the star wand is going to be the perfect example this has been one of the most trialed pickaxes in the history of the game but i feel like it has started to drop off now in chapter 5 it was first added back during chapter 1 season 8 you can pick this up for 800 v bucks as well and we did get an edit style for this that was added as a new pickaxe that is pretty much identical to it and that is the scully scepter i love both of these though i feel like star wand is still the way to go and if you guys are a try hard player then i'm sure you already own this another pickaxe that i'm sure you guys have owned for a really long time is going to be the driver this is added even earlier than the star wand in chapter one season five you can pick it up for 500 v bucks and even though the star wand does work with pretty much every single skin in the game the driver definitely will it has one of the most simplistic designs from any pickaxe we have ever seen which just allows it to work with all of your favorite skins and if you guys don't already own this then you are in luck because it features in the store like once every two weeks so if you guys are waiting for this to return chances are within the next few days this will be back in the item shop let's move on the guys to the number six position and we have the wix katana this is one of the newest katanas that has been added to the game we have so many katanas now in fortnite though so i feel like we may as well include all of them in at this position as well i love the Wix katanas the most. What I also thought was really cool about this is that when we got more edit styles added for John Wick, they didn't decide to make it a brand new collab. They sort of added on the edit styles to the John Wick skin, and then the Wix katana was just introduced as a brand new pickaxe. So I'm glad it sort of worked like this. It probably won't feature in the store too often though, and one item that will never feature again is the Scratcher. This was the pickaxe designed for Peter Griffin that was introduced in Chapter 5 Season 1. I feel like Peter Griffin was such an amazing collab that no one expected, and the Scratcher just made this even better. I mean, this is so, so cool. Who wouldn't want to use the Scratcher in Fortnite? The only downside to this is that it is a cell shaded pickaxe, and in the history of Fortnite, these don't really stay popular or try hard for that long. I feel like because this is known as Peter Griffin's pickaxe, though, that might be a little bit different, but honestly, time will tell because this season just ended a few weeks ago, and I feel like a lot of people are trying out different pickaxes that have just been added to the game. That takes us, though, guys, to the number four position, and we have the Harley Hitter. The Harley Hitter is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite. This is by far one of the best collab pickaxes we are ever going to see as well, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. This is, without a doubt, the best DC pickaxe pickaxe we have ever seen, but unfortunately we haven't had any new edit styles added in a really long time, which is holding this back. I mean, it was first added in Chapter 2 Season 1 with the original Harley Quinn skin, and then we ended up getting Rebirth Harley Quinn added later on in Chapter 2, but they didn't add in any more styles for the Harley Hitter, which was a little disappointing. Still though, I feel like this works with every single skin in your locker, and if you guys don't already have this, hopefully it does feature in the store again soon. One of the most popular pickaxes in the history of the game though, 
has to be the Icebreaker. The Icebreaker is an insane pickaxe. I mean, the fact that this is added in Chapter 1, Season 1 is so, so crazy. I feel like no other pickaxes have been popular since Chapter 1, Season 1, at least without dropping off a few times and then gaining popularity back. But it feels like the Icebreaker has been popular since Chapter 1, Season 1, up until today in Chapter 5, Season 2. This is just so insane. I feel like this is a no-brainer for being in the top 5, and it's probably going to feature in the top 5 best pickaxes for a very long time as well. Let's move on, though, guys, to the number 2 position, and we have a very underrated pickaxe, and this is the Diamond Jack. Now, originally, I wanted to include a brand new pickaxe that had been added with the Battle Pass, or maybe just a brand new item shop pickaxe from Chapter 5 Season 2, but instead, we're going with the Diamond Jack. This has been in the game since Chapter 2 Season 2. It was obviously added with the Travis Scott skin, and this is one of the rarest and most exclusive pickaxes in the game, and definitely the most exclusive one on this list. It is the pickaxe that most people want in their locker. It looks very similar to the studded axe. It also makes almost no sound, and it is really hard to find footage of it because not that many people own it. Luckily, though, Typical Gamer and a few other pros have started to use it again, so I feel like this could very easily become one of the more try-hard pickaxes for Season 2. And finally, guys, coming in as the best pickaxe to use in try-hard game modes, it has to be the Leviathan Axe. I feel like this is still the most try-hard pickaxe we have in the game today. It is also one of the rarest pickaxes as well, because it does cost a 1,000 V-Bucks and is only featured in the store once. This is back during Chapter 2 Season 5 in the collab season of Fortnite, and it is really surprising that most other collab items have featured in the store a bunch, but Kratos and the Leviathan Axe have only featured once. I still am a huge fan of this. I know everyone that owns it absolutely loves it as well. So if you guys don't own it, hopefully it does feature in the store soon. But there you guys go. That is my video talking about the 29 sweaties pickaxes for season two. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time.